morning, Sunday campers. I hope you had a great weekend. Today, we're going to talk about the book of Daniel, and that's in the Old Testament. Now, the story of Daniel in the lion's den goes a little something like this. King Darius was the ruler over Babylon and had an appointment of several men to help him govern and lead. Now, Daniel, the leader of the advisors, was a man who believed in God and followed the Lord's commandments. The other men did not like Daniel and did not want him to be in charge. So they devised a way to get rid of Daniel. These men knew that Daniel served the God of Israel, and they told King Darius to make a new law in which the people could worship and pray only to the king, and if they worshipped or prayed to other gods, they would be thrown into the den of lions. The starving lions would eat and kill the lawbreaker. Now Daniel knew the new law, but committed in his heart to remain steadfast in his prayer and praise to our Lord. Daniel prayed three times a day with the windows open, and when the men saw Daniel and brought accusations against him to King Darius, the king was devastated because he favored Daniel. The king knew that he would not change the law, and Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. However, Daniel was not eaten by the lions. He was spared by the love and faithfulness of our God, for he had shown faithfulness to God by saying true to his word and steadfast in his heart to the faith of the God of Israel. So today, what we're going to do for an activity is something very similar to this. Now, I'm not going to ask you to jump into a pit full of lions, but what we are going to do is take a blindfold. So we really have to really have faith in ourselves and faith in the people around us to guide us through an obstacle course made of string. So you're going to need two supplies. Well, maybe three. You might want some tape in there, or you can tie off the rope. But you're going to need a blindfold. Now, this is just uh, an example, but I would highly recommend a darker blindfold or even a t-shirt because it's white, you can kind of see through. Um, and then you can either use bead necklaces like this or a rope or string and make an obstacle course, whether it's in your living room, outside, be creative. There's a ton of good examples on Pinterest or on Google. Look it up and have someone go through it with your teen or with your youth. So maybe it's the parent guiding the child through this or more fun idea, have your kids guide you through it blindfolded. You never know. But again, it's putting faith and trust in that other person. And today's relevance from this scripture is that the lesson to remember is faith is believing without seeing. So Daniel believed and had faith in his God and he was saved and you will be too. And hopefully you'll make it through the obstacle course without a scratch. We'll see you next week. Have a great day.